It was time to GTFO of the cold and get down to a warmer climate, a climate that suits a player. Scottsdale was the next stop on the Great Reset Tour and Robert offered me a round at Tatum Ranch, named after famous actor Channing Tatum of Magic Mike fame. Everybody in Arizona knows that when Robert summons you, you don't say no and don't ever call him Bob or Bobby. You don't want to know what happens if you do. I stuck six grams of lead tape on the sole of my driver to replace the tungsten thingy that went missing. Thanks to its.com for pointing it out in my what's in the bag video. The missing weight dropped the club's swing weight to C9. The big dog was back in action. We're on yet another new grass to me. This is rye grass. It's a lot softer than bluegrass in the rough, and it looks spongier than bent grass on the fairways for crisp iron shots. They overseed the grass in Arizona and change it from hot grass like Bermuda and Paspellum to cooler grasses like rye and bent grass in the winter. It's mind-blowing how they get it looking so good in such a short space of time. Is that a worker? Yeah. Cool. Oh man, that weight made a huge difference and now it's flown off already. Players, I am in Arizona and on the first hole I've got 100 yards. Didn't know the fairway runs out there, otherwise I would have hit it short of that. We've got 100 yards from beautiful grass. I don't know what they overseed with here, but it's, it's beautiful. It's just beautiful. It's not bent and it's not scary, okay? So we've got 100 yards, first hole. He says to go left of the pin. Okay, I don't know the distance is now in Arizona, it's a bit warmer, so I'm guessing 100 should be fine. Slight breeze off the left, but let's go left of the pin, 100 yards, and uh, I think we're going to be laughing there. A little two putt GTFO. That's going to have to go. That's going to have to go. Yeah, that's, that's significantly short, players. Little, little downward hit on the ball there. Not, not too good. Not too smart. How do these, grains, how do these greens break a lot? Is it, is it quite straight or is it, is it, does it break quite a bit? Well, they like hidden breaks. Yeah, so there's a little bit of a hidden break. Um, you'll see it more when we get to the other side here, but everything kind of goes that way. That way, much. okay. Ah, there's good. a little bit of like a pull to this because we're, we're up in elevation, that's down in elevation. Okay, cool. Oh man, such a smooth swing. Such a good strike. Not too long, but uh, should leave me. Well, players, you know what, I'm, I'm loving playing with this player because it's just two of us and we're playing in a slow field and we're just chilling, having a chat, getting to know each other like players. We've got 120 into the breeze. I'm not really my ideal situation. I really wanted closer to 140, but I must have hit that really well. So we'll go with a pitching wedge and I'm going to hit it left of the pin and maybe hit a little fader. That's a not bad, not bad, not bad, good read. That really helped that tip you told me about everything going that way. Because yeah. I can see it, but I didn't realize how much. Dude, did I go over? Okay, players, I'm in the desert, and I'm not going to get too close to the bush with the camera because uh, I don't want to get bitten by some kind of rattlesnake or trouser snake or something like that. So I'm taking this to waste bunker, and that is hard. Let's see how we do this. On a shot from this hard pan desert, you can't open the face. The sole will bounce into the ball and you'll hit it in the teeth across the green. Keep the face square, hit down about an inch behind the ball. I mean, that's skinny. And then the huge downslope there, even if I caught that nine, or pitch, maybe a pitching wedge up there would be really good. It is not too bad. Yeah. 
Yeah, you're right. So everything just kind of goes toward that side of the course. That's amazing. That looked big right, left, right to left. Now from here, it's straight. Things okay there? Okay, here we go, chip in. <laughs> in the hole. Chunk and runner. Ah. Is that okay? I'm starting to realize I should have bought my Cleveland Classic putter, which is my go-to putter for bent grass greens. The Evan Roll just did not feel good on these greens. I like it on the Bermuda, but on bent grass, I like a really light putter. I got an offer from a subscriber in Oregon to stay and play at Pebble Beach, and I needed to get my game in order to not blow my score on a bucketless course like Pebble. Players, this is easily more my kind of golf. I'm a fair weather golfer. That stuff in Virginia was fun, but wow, it was cold. Now, this is just beautiful, dry, nice temperature. Ball's going great. Greens are great. Oh man, everything's perfect. This is my vibe. This is my jam, and he's gonna make that. Ooh! <laughs> Should be a loud one. One less. Yeah, it plays, you can't see it here, but it's playing downhill. Yeah. Right? And that pin's in the back. So. Okay. I was thinking a fader, but I think. Yeah, maybe. Whatever you're comfortable with, but. No, then I'll be better with, if you're gonna, if you that, say that. That pin's towards, that, uh, it's, it's back pin. Yeah. Okay. I will go with a seven. I'm sure I'll hit the green. These Kirklands are also quite long. Oh, not there. Where is it? Over the back. Right on the edge of where they've redone some grass here. It's not it's quite loose. There's a couple of slabs of grass that are loose here. This could be tough. So I'm going to try to bump it into the fringe there. I think I'm going to pick up a lot of soil here. Too much, Matty, you stinky man. That was just outside the right. <laughs> okay, players, we're gonna hit the six here because I haven't been here before. It's a pretty simple hole though. I could hit a four, but six is downwind and they're going long. Straight at that bush that's far from the hazard. Easy life. That's probably the sweetest six iron I've ever hit in my life. Wow. I'll take that every day. Excellent swing, but that hat really doesn't go with the shirt. Thank you, sir. Uh, yeah. Can you give me a number to carry the edge of the water? Yeah. 117. 117? Yep. Whew, this is touch and go. This is touch and go. Okay, we're gonna go nine iron here, please. I mean, the, the lies are quite, are quite nice and fluffy. Bit of grain, but I think a nine iron's gonna work. 58 degree, I don't want to teeth it across the green. Oh, 
<laughs> oh man. That's got to go. No, maybe it doesn't. That's on. <laughs> the ball just gets that extra, like half a second in the air. Yeah, there's no humidity in the air, so the air is thinner. And Players, look at the scenery. You know? I don't even care about the golf. Like I've said in a lot of videos, I don't care. I'm just, I made a bogey there. I mean, I had a good line on the chip, good line on the putt, whatever. Look at this. I'm in freaking Arizona, a place I never thought I'd be. With these the saguaro cactuses you can see are very sacred plants. Every arm on a saguaro cactus takes 300 years to grow. You can multiply the number of arms by 300, and that's how old the cactus is. Neither. <laughs> Oopsie. Four. Is that dead? No, you're fine. <laughs> tenth, tenth, uh, fairway, right? For real? Yeah. <laughs> Luckiest. I just moved a bit closer to the ball there. Not too smart. Yes, man. Sweet shot. Right in the panty. Bit left, but it'll do. Bit left, but it'll do. Okay, so you're saying it, it goes this way, right? Even on this one, do you reckon? Or does it just it reduce? a little more straight. Yeah, because all the grain is going. All the grain is going this way. Okay. So the slope is, is going right, but the grain is going mm. right. So it's kind of, I, I play straight. Okay. I'll be using the rounds leading up to Pebble to get my game in order. I won't practice on short game areas or hit balls because I'm being a tourist as well. Can we be mindful on the course and use it as practice? Can we experiment with small things like staying still over putts? Can we learn how to hit a partial wedge shot Oopsie. while on course? Will more golf equal better golf automatically? I'm not a range rat, so I'd like to say yes to everything. Gotta tuck my shirt in. They don't like, they don't like vagabonds here. Oh, go. go. Chunky. Do you feel it? Do you feel in the in the rough? No, no, you're fine. Little chunky monkey boys. Boys and boyfriends. I think I'm gonna have to float this one up. I think the grass is too long for a it's too long for a bump and run. Let's try channel the, the inner bow. Open to open. Not the best, not the best, but not the worst. Good shot. That gonna be okay? That'll be fine. Hopefully it gets to the bunker because out of that rough it's hard to Okay, okay that makes some sense now. Yeah, you so see what I'm saying? It slopes pretty hard there. So, so you wanna you, you wanna fly at like 70. Yep, yep. If you can. Yep. Okay. 70, what do we say? 78? And we wanna go about 70. How do we hit a 70 yard shot? That's that feels good. Yep. Nice little divot there. Okay, maybe a bit ambitious. That should work nicely. Oh, 
Oh man, it, dude, that, that is just, that's crazy. <laughs> Good part there. Let's have that sand next to you there, man's run out. Yeah, I've, yeah this, wind is, the wind is this, swirling up there. This is a... Two. Let's go six. Little uphill lie. Can I clear this lip? I think I can. I'll just keep that head, that chin up a little bit. Try to top it. Probably going to be a fader. Maybe get the front edge of the green. It's not an easy stance, this, but you know, we get it done. That was tough. That was tough. Is it okay there? Okay, we've got 71 yards, not the, not ideal, you know what I'm saying? It's not ideal, but it's not, no deal. It's, it's, a, it's a deal, um, and what we got here is probably 45 yards, maybe 40 yards to the front, and then another 30 yards to the pin. So, I mean, we've got so much space. Why don't we try something different? Let's do a little pitching wedge runner. I mean, I don't do it that often because I never really have the opportunity. So let's see how that works out. I mean, if it doesn't work, I'm a dodo, which I am anyway, but I'm in America, so who cares? This is the greatest place I've ever been, and I, I don't think I'm going back. I'm not fucking leaving. I'm not leaving. That's probably gonna be well, well short. That is, uh, that was an experimental shot, and that's not, it's not good, eh? but it's not bad. But it's, it's like really not good. It's, it's, it's not, I mean, it's pretty bad. Okay, we're getting a straight up, straighter than it looks read from the man, the man, the big dog, Robert, Robbie, Rob, Robbo. Look at that chip. Look at that chip. Oh, this guy can play. This guy can play, you know. He's teaching me a thing or two. He's telling me it's a straighter putt than I would imagine. And most of them have been. I've been absolutely shocking on the greens today, but that's how it goes. You got that. Good job. Okay, now we've got a little downhill slippery nipple, slippery nurple, and I'm just seeing left to right, right to left, and I'm just going to go straight. Come on, back in! Oh man, you're right. You were right. going to break a ton. Right? I saw two huge breaks, yeah, and they yeah. were they were two tiny breaks. And it only really came back here. Yeah, just, just as it slowed down. Oh man, that was so far off the hill. <laughs> yeah, it kind of faded back. I almost missed it. No, I thought we'd find it. See? Okay, I mean, it's 275. I can hit a three wood. I could hit a three wood. It, what is it going to prove? It's going to just prove that I'll make a bogey. So I'm going to hit a little six iron straight down the chute. Leave myself a wedgie in. The, the, the pin's on top of the spine in the green, so I want to keep it close enough to the green to give myself a shot to bounce it up there and spin it and stop it. Six iron, two seven five. 
think we've run out of sand, man. I'm not good. Okay, 107, we've got a spine in the middle there. We're gonna hit a little 50 degree. We're gonna hit a little 50 degree, okay? Because the 50 degree is actually a longer club, but I'm trying not to bash them because I actually don't know the distance. But I don't wanna go long because he says he's gonna bound on. So I'm gonna try, man, if I can get this to land 106 and stop, that's gonna be a hero shot. Okay, a little shortish. I think I should have hit the pitching wedge there. That would have been a really nice shot. I worked that shot out in Virginia. Yeah, I think looking back now, I think a 56 degree full landing just past, I think I would hold. Yeah, you might be right. I thought it was more close there. But I, I can see next time I'd play, I would go way right at the pin. Yeah. I was going dead at it. I didn't realize. Ah yeah. Ah yeah. Oh no, that's not big. Just hit it hit way. All the way. The green's 50 yards deep. I think it hit it. Okay, players, we got our shirt tucked in. We're in front of the clubhouse. We have to look presentable. You know, we don't want to embarrass our hearts. I mean, I am a rogue, a ragamuffin. But when I have to, I can behave. I can behave. Now, it was a terrible seven. Hit it way off the toe, but we're here. We're here. And this is going to break right here, but I don't see it that much. I mean, although maybe because that's the whole course goes that way. So we're just going to get that pace right. Let's see if we can. Let's see if we can hold this for the ladies. Well, that's not even get halfway. Go on, man. Good line. Good line. No strong. Beautiful. Okay. 